What's up, America? This is your favorite YouTube personality, Hustling Godfather. Today, we're going to have a conversation. You and I, we're, we're, we're going to speak. There are many of you who, who want to be successful, and you've bought online courses, you've got mentors, you've talked to people, but it hadn't worked out. And you, you're working really, really hard, America. And you're just trying to figure out what is the secret to being more successful. And I'm here to unpack the box and tell you exactly where you're going wrong and how to fix it. Enroll in 30 days to 2,500. The link is below. This is a course to help you get your side business started and also get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success, to strengthen your mental, because a lot of that's going to come into play in this video. All right, so let's start cooking with gas. You work hard. You, you do what you think is the right thing. You think it's the right thing. And you are out here trying to make money and you'll see all of these people online who are making this crazy money and they seem to do it effortlessly. Yet you have been working overtime and you don't understand what you don't know because you don't know what you don't know. And I'm here to inform you that you were programmed wrong. Now, what does that encompass? Programming, where does the programming happen? The programming starts with mom and dad. The secondary programming levels starts with your peer group. And the third programming level starts with society. Now, you, like I will talk about my journey because I was born in the South, the conservative South, a son of the South, where you get your hair cut and you get a good job, young man. America, I'm here to tell you that that programming worked within a certain framework that no longer exists. In Alabama, if you were a young man, you were, you know, and I was rather big, they used to call me kind of Husky. That was the name, Husky. And it's like, you know, I could get a job because I was a male, I was big, I get a job. And that framework with the haircut, the conservative values worked really, really well within that framework, but that framework no longer exists. So I grew up into an adult with this programming. I went through the military with this programming. And then I faced a personal crisis with this programming and I found out the programming didn't work. I ended up homeless. I in, now this is what's funny. You know, America, I know a lot of you are suffering. When I was homeless, the economy wasn't like it is now. It was pretty good. My personal economy was jacked. But see, I didn't know, like you, America, like you, I didn't know what I didn't know. And I fell into a state of depression. I fell into a state of financial lack and I wrecked my car. It was just all types of bad, but I was still operating on this programming until this one event happened. When I was in a situation of a boarding house, which if you don't know, it's a bunch of strangers living together in the community. I got a job at what's now T-Mobile. It was called Voice Stream back in the day. And I was through there through a temporary agency. And America, I want you to understand. I want you to listen to me. This is a very, very important story I'm about to tell you. So listen. And I was the number one salesman and I got let go. This was in direct conflict with my programming. I did a good job. I showed up on time. I didn't waste time. I didn't try to cheat time. I, I did a good job and they still let me go. And my, my programming crashed. And I am so glad that it happened because I learned a very valuable lesson because it's about proximity. It's about positioning more so than hard work and effort. See, this is one of the things. If you work hard and the framework accepts your programming, you will be successful. However, if the framework does, isn't, is incompatible with your programming, you will not be successful. And that's when I had a paradigm shift. This is when I woke up, called me Leo in the matrix. I woke up and I snapped out of it 
and I began to reprogram myself for success. I remember sitting in that office and the guy was like, well, you know, we can go ahead and get you like two more weeks. And I said, no, I'm going to figure it out because my programming had crashed. It was like, this ain't working. This, this doesn't compute. And I, I began to reprogram myself because before this moment happened, I was listening to some educational material that was reshaping my mind. And this is the reason that I did not have a mental breakdown because it was that bad. America, it was that bad. And I went home and I took my new programming and applied it to the current framework. And guess what? America, it worked. I'm going to tell you what I did. I went back to my room and even though I was a homeless bum, I had a computer. I knew the value of technology. So I had a computer at IBM 300 GL. I had a computer up in that boarding house and I had dial up. Do, 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 do. So I went home and I sat down with pen and paper at my desk and then I wrote up a plan. What is our problem? We have low income. How do we solve our problem? We get a better job. So what I, this is the plan and America stick with me because new programming to mesh with the new framework. And I was like, I can do a lot of these jobs that they're asking for experience. What is the barrier for me getting this job? I need a reference. So in the flash of genius, I created my own reference. Mr. Patel. Yes, he worked for us. Yes, I would hire him again. My, miss, my Indian accent was much better back then. It was much better. But I applied my new programming to the current framework. And I got a job making more money than I ever did. Now, some people would say this was unethical. But I took my new programming and applied it to the framework. See, this is where many of you are going wrong. You have bad programming that's incompatible with the current framework. And that's why you will not be successful. I don't care how many online courses you take. I don't care how many mentors you get. I don't care how hard you work. Cause see, it's not about hard work. It's about compatible programming. If your programming is compatible with the current mainframe, you will be successful. If your programming is incompatible with the mainframe, it, you won't be successful. I'm about to give you some faulty programming. There are very large red pill and mig toe communities on YouTube. And many of these men have bad programming because they're frustrated with women. They're frustrated with their dating situation because they don't understand because they got bad programming. And they don't understand the main from mainframe programming with women because I, as a male, have no problems with women. I've never I have not had a problem with women in like 15, 20 years since my ex-wife, because I understand that my programming must be current and up to date with the status quo. Because like right now, I'm about to say some fat chicks are getting married like ain't nobody's business. But if you were listening to these red pill and mito men, there ain't no way no fat chick gonna get married. Nobody gonna bury no fat chick. They snatching these, they snatching them up. Fat chicks are getting married. Women with kids are getting married. But if you were listening to the programming of the red pill and mid toe men, that ain't supposed to be happening. But why is it happening? Because these guys don't understand what's going on. They don't understand and you know, a big part of being successful is having the compatible programming with the main frame. Like let's talk about making money online. There are so many people who try to make money online and fail. Let me tell you why they have bad programming. Part of their program is making money online should be easy. Part of their programming is money making money online should give me more free time. They don't treat the 
occupation of making money online is a full-time and real occupation. It's kind of something that you can cheat or supposed to be easy or supposed to be cool because they have bad programming. When I left, and also let's talk about programming. When I was, went through this phase of Renecrate was the first job I got, then I went to Panel Systems Unlimited, then I went to Business Environments. Once I got programmed at each location, because I met and encountered people that gave me new knowledge, current knowledge. Because if you're not networking with people who are giving you current knowledge for the mainframe, you're messed up. You won't be successful regardless of how hard you work, regardless of what you do, you will not be successful. So each place I got new software installed into my program and my software was up to date. And this is why I've had a successful track record of being successful since that first job. Now let's talk about when I left my business. My business gave me accurate, up-to-date programming. When you run a business, when you have real customers, you know what's going on. The economy started slowing down 2006, 2007, how do I know? Because I was in business and my customer base changed. I went from Hispanics and black folks to my sector of white males and white women exponentially grew. And I, you know, as a, as a shopkeeper, I always took track of who came into my warehouse. Why did they came in my warehouse? What did they buy? Because this helped keep my software current. So when I came on to the internet, I came on the internet with the right programming. Number one, I didn't think it was going to be easy. Number two, I knew I had to work. Number three, I knew I had to study. Number four, I knew I had to apply myself. Coming through the door. And this is why many of you who try to make money online, listening to many of these fake gurus who are gassing you up. I'm about to give you a jewel. If you run a Shopify store, you shouldn't be running Facebook ads. You should be running Google search ads. Tr try it out and see if your results don't dramatically change because this is the internet and there is so much false information out here because everyone that goes to Shopify dropshipping, they start running Facebook ads, everyone starts targeting the same sector of people and they're not successful because they don't understand that they don't know what they don't know. So when I came here on the line, it literally took me six and a half months to start making money from scratch because I came online with the correct programming. So now here's the big question, America. And I know you, you're like, all right, Glendon, I hear you. I'm listening. What do I do to start reprogramming myself? Glad you asked America. First thing that you need to do is to start living in truth. The truth doesn't matter if you like it or not. The truth doesn't matter if you ignore it because the truth will handle you in his own way. So first of all, you must become a student of the truth. This is one of the reasons that I've been able to make prediction after prediction after prediction on this channel and be stunningly accurate because I live in the truth and I look at the data. So you're going to have to divorce yourself from your feelings. You going to let your feelings go. That right there, because your feelings in your programming will lead you to many erroneous conclusions over and over again. Because right now I have people, like I have a video up talking about there will not be a V-shaped recovery and I give you statistical facts why there will not be a V-shaped recovery, but we have many people who feel, they feel it. They feel it in their bones. They feel it in their gut. They feel that we're going to have a V-shaped recovery because if they were to do the statistical analysis and look at all the data, they wouldn't have come away with that conclusion. So most people are led by ego and feelings, which leads them to run into a bad programming situation that is incompatible with the mainframe 
which is why they fail or come up with bad decisions and make bad choices. So you got to become a student of the truth. And one of the things that is so hard is when you're faced with statistical data that makes you change your original premise. That's hard, but you have to do that to be successful because so many people are wedded to their beliefs. They're wedded to their principles. They're wedded to their ideology. And in the face of truth, they will make a bad decision or a bad prediction because they're wedded and committed to their feelings when they should be wedded and committed to the truth, America. So that's one thing you got to get straight because like right now you're, you're, you're having people make these things like most people are paying their rent. I actually know some real estate investors and it's funny, the real estate investors who went with the low income properties, they're suffering. I have a friend right now where none of his tenants have paid his rent and he has commercial and residential real estate, not a one. And he's lost mark money in the stock market. And he also is infected with the Corona. Talk about bad luck after bad luck. But once again, you got to have the correct programming because hard work, diligence ain't going to cut it. You can work seven days a week, 20 hours a day, sleep four hours a day, get up and do it. And you're not going to be successful because your programming is incompatible with the mainframe. And the mainframe is the general system. Making money online requires that you do a few things. You need to be good at creating products. You need to be good at presentation. You need to be good at so many little things to make money online. And this is why when you take a course and the course could be really good, the course could be factual, but see, here's the thing. The course could be missing foundational components. Because why did I come here online and start making money? Because I had a business offline that made money. I knew the elements and principles of making money. Right now, there are many people who are rent seeking. Rent seeking is trying to make money through Forex, trying to make money through day trading, trying to make money through Bitcoin. Rent seeking is you create no value, but you get money. That's rent seeking. And there are some people who are really good at rent seeking, but for the average person, and this is going to throw you America, this is going to mess you up. Based upon your programming, you're supposed to give value before you get value. So this is why many of you will try day trading, Forex and stuff, and it just won't work because it's incompatible with your programming. That's why you're, you're not winning with this because on a subconscious level, you feel that you need to do something to create this exchange of value to get money. And you don't even know that this is messing you up. America, you, you have no clue. And this is why programming is so critical. And this is why you need to reprogram yourself so you can start becoming successful, so you can start living the life that you want to live. It's kind of simple once you know what the problem is because you ever have a problem or there's something that just happens and you can't figure it out and it's very very frustrating but once you find out the solution you fix your problem like that and this is the problem that so many people have that they're improperly programmed for the mainframe and this ain't just with making money online this is with dating this is with creating friendships. This is how you handle your family. Because if you have bad programming, I'll give you an example of bad programming. I used to have an aunt who was very prickly. You know, if you didn't appeal to her, if you didn't come to her, she was kind of hard to deal with. And she died a lonely old woman because she didn't understand the programming of how to relate to people. She just didn't understand it. She had very bad programming. She had very bad habits. She had a very bad attitude. If you want to win with people, your programming needs to be compatible with winning with people, which means you got to think about people first. 
if you think about yourself first all the time, you're going to be a lonely person. I'm here to tell you, I'm about to give you some secrets that will make you listen to me. Listen to me right now, America. Listen to me. I'm going to give you a few secrets that will literally change your life. Seriously. And it will make you feel good. I want you to sit down. If you have a wife or a husband, I want you to sit down and think about all of the good things they bring in your life. Okay? Do that. Then I want you to write this person a letter telling how valuable they are to you, how special they are to you, and wow, that your life would be empty without them. Send this letter, and the person that you're in the relationship will literally change overnight. Because here's the thing, America, people don't hear that often. This is something I've done throughout my entire life. People who are special and critical to me, I let them know how I feel about them in unvarnished terms. I remember I was dating this chick and I, I sent her this letter because I love the girl. And she came over to my house because we didn't live together. And she came over to my house like 10 o'clock because what I did was I wrote a letter. I wrote it and I mailed it to her because, you know, people don't do that. And she got the letter. She didn't even call. She came to my house. She was knocking on the door. Do, 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 do. I was like, who is that knocking on my door like a crazy person? It was her, America. And I opened up the door, and there she was, and she was crying. I mean, the ugly cry, the boogers out the nose. She was cutting up. I was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? She said, I got your letter. Oh, my God. No one's ever done that for me. No one. This woman was like, you know, 32 years old. She said, and she hugged me and she came in. And at that moment, she became a better girlfriend. She was already good. She was already, but she actually started to work on becoming a better girlfriend because I understood how to program her. See what I'm saying? Just do this. Seriously, write a letter, write it. Don't email them, write a physical letter and give it to them and see what happens. Because you, see, here, here's the thing, America. We program each other, and we don't even know we're programming people. This is why women get into bad relationship after bad relationship, because they were programmed by that first dude, and he altered her programming, so she became attracted to things that were not good for her, because she was programmed. And she'll even is like, I know I shouldn't be messing with this dude. He ain't nothing but trash. But she still mess with him because he is compatible to her programming. See, once you understand the power of programming, once you understand what's going on, it's very easy to fix. But as long as you're clueless and don't understand, you could go to your grave with bad programming, a bad life, and a lack of results. America, I'm here to tell you, it's just that simple. Now, here's gonna be some of the burdens that's gonna prevent you from changing your, for your programming. I'm good the way that I am. There ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm good. It's these other people out here. They ain't gonna help you. That ain't going to help you. That ego, you're going to have to let that ego go. Because there are many people who rather be right than happy. <laughs> they rather be right than happy. So this is, you know, and watch this video three or four times. Because each time you watch it, you're going to get more and more out of it. Because I'm here to tell you, once you learn that your programming is bad for the mainframe, and once you start to change your programming where it becomes compatible with the mainframe, you're going to be starting to be successful. Your dating life's going to improve. Your, your friendship's going to improve. Everything's going to improve because you understand what's going on. All right, so this is, I got a course for you, and it's a little quirky, and this will help you with your programming. It's called Writing for Cash. Now, is like, I've been doing a lot of this, and like, 
it, it is such a powerful thing because remember what I said, you program other people. And once you begin to understand how you could program yourself and you could program other people and you start programming people in a positive and productive manner, your life is going to get better. You're going to be way happier. You're going to have so much fun. You're going to enjoy life to the fullest. So go below, get the course. What I'm going to do is give you a little discount. It'll be in the link below. Just go ahead, get the course and start working on your life. And then watch this next video. It's right here. It's going to be good for you. It's going to be good for you, America. It's going to be good for you.